What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is James with JFab Mini Trucks. Stay tuned because we got a yard sale, estate sale fine that we're going to be revamping. So there was a local uh, estate sale. They had a bunch of metal stuff there and this and that. Uh, I ended up picking up. Uh, I ended up picking up this stand right here for body work. Twenty five dollar fine. That's not too bad. It has the pads on it still. And then I picked up this guy. Thirty five bucks. I don't know if this was something that somebody had made, but we're gonna try to put it back to use revamp it clean it all up paint it maybe do a little bit of engineering on it but i think it's a score if not then i have a piece of uh equipment around that i can't use but it is what it is i've seen it so i'm like hey i might as well just try to get it let's set you guys down here real quick seen it I'm like what is this thing and I saw that it had this lever on it so I walk up to it and I put my foot on it to see what it does yep she's vintage <laughs> I'm gonna just start cleaning up this stuff and seeing if I can't get this thing to work again I mean I can modify it if I have to but let's see what we can do with it guys done cleaning it. it took a while but it is all nice and cleaned up no rust well I wouldn't say no rust but most of the rust is off so I'm just gonna self etch primer this all right guys so I got her all primered up I am gonna modify this thing a little bit and I'm gonna change the blade on here the bend part because it's bowed I'm gonna change it from one handle to two so it's on the outside. And I'm also going to put like a little extension off the back right here in case you have like a long piece of metal that you can just rest it on. So that is the next step that we're gonna be doing. All right guys, so day number two. Uh, I showed you just a minute ago that we got it all primered up. Um, I stopped by the local the metal shop. Got some flat bar. Um, I'm going to be replacing this right here. I'm going to keep the hinges because they're fine. But I'm just going to get rid of this nasty old one. It's bowed. I don't know if it, the camera can pick it up. But you can see there's a way bigger gap on this side. It's tight in the middle where this handle's at. And then it's loose look at that you can definitely see that so i'm gonna change this up a little bit while I'm repurposing this well i'm not repurposing it i'm just re re 
revamping it, I guess. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put handles here and here coming up. So you lift it with two hands instead of one right in the center where you can see that it's bowed and that's why it's bowed because it's right in the center of that. So let's cut all this stuff off, do our measurements. I already made the measurement for this with 24 inch, which it should fit right in there. Dang. And we also got paint. We're gonna two tone this, a red and a black. I think it'll be a cool little addition to the shop. I didn't wanna just do black, but we're gonna throw some red on it anyways and throw some JFab stuff on there. You know what we're doing. Uh, now let's get into it. guys so one of the things that I do is when I'm cutting I don't normally use like if you see which direction this goes it's going this way I don't generally cut on this side I use this side when you cut on this side the direction that it's spinning if you cut it on this side you could damage that wheel and that's when you see a lot of kickbacks and when people get hit with the wheel and stuff like that. If you're cutting it in the direction that it's going, you will see that you won't have that issue. So if you ever seen me cut stuff on the channel, I'm always using this side of the wheel, not this side. It's just a rule of thumb that I've always done. I do it sometimes, but I not, when I'm cutting stuff, I generally don't like to use this side because that's when you get that bam, that kickback. template or I might just stick this flat bar in here and just mark it myself where these hinges are gonna go I want them as far back as possible on this flat bar so I'm just gonna get it 
where I need it, mark it where those hinges are at, and I'm gonna cut it a little so I can get this bar as far back in there as I can. I definitely want it as close as possible to that so I get a tighter break. Yep. So I'm gonna clean these hinges up real quick. And we'll be right back. So I'm going to put these little shims. It's just a quarter inch angle iron that I chop down into these little pieces. I just keep them around for stuff like this. We're going to be needing that bar sitting right there. So I'm just going to clamp this to that so it has something to sit on while it's there. <clears throat> Start high because you can always tap it down into place. That should work. Where's my other clamp? I just had it right here. Same thing with this guy. try to get this as close as I can to this piece right here I want to be able to get that bend tight right where it's gonna meet that actually it's where this blade will sit to be honest with you not that too so half inch I'm gonna need to cut a half an inch off this flat bar. And get it where I need it. So most of the blade is on this side. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a full 24 inch piece in here, but we'll get close. this up real quick very nice I'm just gonna move all this stuff out of the way bring you guys in I think I need to sharpen my Soapstone. Put these babies over here so I don't break them. Get this stuff out the way. Excuse the mess, guys. I'm working on stuff. up real quick I need to sharpen this and I broke it I knew I was gonna do that just need a damn pencil sharpener that's all Good as new. Get our 
square real quick. I'm kind of excited to get this thing going because uh, it's nice to have a break around. I mean, hopefully it'll work as good as I need it to. Mark a half inch real quick. Yeah, so this yard sale find uh, was pretty awesome. I saw it there the first, I went there twice. I, I went there, said it had metal supply stuff and it's, it was just a estate sale. Well, I seen this sitting there and I didn't pick it up. I was in the Scion, but I went back two days later and it was still there. So I was like, hey, I might, why not just get it? I need to change the camera around. So I went there uh, two days later and it was still there. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab this thing. Did I mark it in the right spot? Yeah. My bad. Second guess myself. I put the square on it, but at the same time, I didn't cut this edge. I think that's a, it's cut from a shear. So I don't know how accurate that's gonna be. So I'm just giving myself a little rough half inch back. And I'm gonna need to cut this out. I'm going to throw it in the vise and cut it and see if it fits. So, after getting that all cut, that shit was a pain in the ass. Yes, sir. I think that'll work. I'm definitely going to put a level on this. Actually, I might just put a square just to get it even with this bar, this tube that's in here. I'll clamp it up. It's going to have to go lower because the hinges won't sit on it. There we go. That one went down. Where's my hammer? down a little more Too high. Has to 
go underneath. The only thing I don't like about that is where this hinge is right here. I don't want it to scar the metal, but that's how it was on the the other bar down there. So I mean, really, it should work. If not, then I guess I'm gonna have to change something else up. This is how I'm gonna do it. So now I gotta get my clamps, get the welder on, clean this metal up real quick. About where I'm gonna need it. So. that pretty much where I marked it before I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then get the welder ready and then take it away There's loud it's a quiet one but it's loud on camera in person it's not really that loud but I don't really mind it move you guys back a little bit I'm gonna have to change the battery here soon and if any of you guys on here have your own YouTube channel and you know about swapping batteries I just use a GoPro for my videos. I'm not high tech yet. We're low budget right now. But if you guys want to uh, support the channel, head over to jfabminitrucks.com where you can get hats, shirts, uh, C notch kits, stickers. We don't have hoodies on there yet. I mean, I can't. I can put hoodies on there. I could just make it whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah. If you guys want to support the channel, head on over and get some stuff. We got the Fantini kits on there, some C notches. I'm actually going to be making a bigger notch to put on there. So an 8 inch notch for full size and mini trucks. Uh, check it out. I could have just left it over there. I don't know why I didn't do that. I always forget. I had a buddy. We did an interview on his truck uh, earlier on in the channel, the Toyota Tacoma. Um, tool built, James Tools, Toyota. Anyways, he came over and uh, when I moved in, this house only had one outlet. So he came in and put a bunch of outlets in for me. And I forget that I have them, so I'm gonna use them. Cause way back when, we only had two outlets in this garage. Big, there's a big workbench over there, but only two outlets in the whole garage. I think this wall has one, two, three, four outlets. 
that wall's got one over there and then we have the original one that was in the shop for the garage factory in 1979 or so Gas on. Need a straight edge. Clamp's a little too tight. I 
think we could go tighter than that. Sorry guys that I'm not talking while I'm working. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be entertaining, but at the same time I'm trying to get some work done. So I apologize for that. It might get a little boring, but again, I apologize. The end result will be awesome. On this, on this one over here, I'm definitely gonna have to smack it hot tack that one. I'm gonna get tacks on all three of these and I'll keep that one for last and then this one I can do all of them. What kind of hoods do you guys use? I use a weld coat. Uh, got it at a uh, local supply store. MJB over there in Chico, uh, but it has a pretty wide view lens for welding. I used to do a lot of production welding, spray welding, short art, but now I just do this thing. speed up too much.
I weld it in. I'm gonna let it cool clamped. And what I'm gonna do is sand down those welds so they're flat where the hinge is. So it doesn't scar the metal when I break it. guys that's gonna do it for the video i hope you enjoyed the content and us putting that thing together as you can see the bed of my truck is sitting in the garage we got more mini truck stuff stay tuned thanks for watching and just remember dreams are only fantasy if you're not willing to put in the work catch you on the next one guys